So people are not paying their bills. Cue the fire, but I'm so confused. I thought they said the economy's so good. And there are huge potentials that they'll just close your account. Ah, oh, hey, that's not good. Sorry, you were a little bit delinquent. And also talking about accounts. Look at this, PayPal, they did it again. You know how Elon, which I'll get to that in a second, he was like, hey, did you guys see their user agreement? I'm like, you should see TikTok. But they, they 2,500, poof, right out of your account, just in case they don't like exactly what you have to say on social media. And that's $2,500 for misinformation, which usually misinformation is correct information about six months, right? You're like, ah, do I get an apology now? No, uh, I didn't think so. PayPal's object, I, I, I'm gonna object, sir. Terms are back. Like now everyone, oh, not mainstream anymore. Let's just squeeze that one right there. Two weeks ago, PayPal introduced language into its terms and conditions that allowed them to withdraw. They just take it out. You're like, what happened to, I, I thought I had $100,000 in there. Now I have 200, what happened? Oh, we, we saw your Twitter account. And then we went over to your YouTube account from your account for each time they believe you promoted misinformation. So let that just sink in for, hey, hey, there's Elon heading into the Twitter headquarters. Look at that. <laughs> With the kitchen sink. <laughs> and I actually have some footage of when he finally went up in that elevator and how he is handling every everyone from Twitter. Now I had to, turn the volume down because there was some there were some naughty words that uh, were being used but it looks like he is handling business at Twitter also yes I do have an Instagram do not follow me I'm really boring I do not post pictures of myself nor my food but I do think uh, Instagram's terms of service are slightly safer than snapchats you guys got to see that they know your they know your phone your phone type where you go, your location, your new files, your applications, when you change file types, what's in them. But to cue the fire, that might be currently misinformation until they change it. And then they're like, that was misinformation because we changed our terms of service, but then we changed it back. So now please give us 2,500. Oh, oh, we got it, we, we'll handle it. But banks are getting you from all over the place. Actually, I'm trying to figure out what the pin is on that card. That would be a good one. Banks. Prepare, are you guys prepared for consumers unable to pay back loans while well, they're coming after you? Banks are shoring up their provisions against credit card losses, that's what they're all doing right now, on fears that uh, customers could be late paying. It's okay, just put it on the other card and then put it on the other card. See, the economy's great because everyone's like, well, let's refinance and then we'll take that money and we'll pay off our debt. We'll do this and that. And now you're like, maybe we shouldn't refinance since interest rates are at 7%. Loans and credit card bills, fears of a recession. And I say, we are already in a recession, my friend. And this could last a very long time until we fix this. And I don't know how to. I mean, I can kind of fix it, but no one ever listens to me. You listen to me. That's why you subscribe. I just give you really cheesy ways like, sell plastic things on Amazon or start side hustles or become a plumber and then hire someone to do your plumbing. So then you, then you don't have to do it. You can go on vacation and then they're your passive income. But all of this stuff, see, credit card debt, 1.1 trillion, 1.2 trillion, student loan debt, 2 trillion, other debt, 2 trillion at a higher interest rate, right? And now people are like, I can't do it. I can't make the payments. So we got inflation plus all this debt at a higher rate, well, people are like, that's it. I give up. It was a nice game. I tried. And I say, just take all of the profits you have made in the last year on crypto. You, oh, you, you didn't? How about all the money you made in the stock market this year? Oh, you didn't? Okay. Well, start a sticker. Sell stickers. Sell something. Jeez Louise. Uh, do the scratch and sniff ones. Do like the old school. I will buy your packet. And I am kind of going back in time for one second. Remember these? Scratch, sniff. These are selling for like four bucks just for each one. And you could make these. Looking at 40 bucks over there, right in your pocket. Just again, please, just start a business. I don't care what you're doing. Wall Street, this one's going to be great. I mean, the auto loan, 
What 1.52 trillion in new auto loans. This is going to be ugly. Walt, this is your Lehman Brothers moment. Wall Street warns of trouble brewing in auto loans as prices dip. Well, prices are going to go from dip to chips to fall off cliff. And as you know, I'm a rapper and it'll pop you in the chip, the clip, the uh, the, the lip. And no, uh, Eminem, I'm, I'm not coming for your job. I actually can't wait until these things are pennies on the dollar. Please let me finally buy. I don't even own a car. My wife owns a car. I haven't had a car in years. That would be a nice one. And then I'll break the muffler and drive all over Austin, irritating everyone, right? You know those people. Oh my gosh, do you not want to dive through a window? But now, breaking news coming in from ABC News 11. Uh, Americans struggling, yeah, you think, with credit card debt, which you just had paid off. <laughs> it's just crazy to me. You had it paid off, now it's the highest in history with credit card debt. As holiday shopping approaches, well, what do you say? News anchors, talk. Give me, give me, give me economy. The first thing that better come out of your mouth. On the economy. It appears concerns about inflation are catching up with consumer confidence. The consumer confidence index fell by more than five points this month. It's a change. Wow, another drop in consumer confidence. What change a shocker. from the previous two months when the consumer. Maybe uh, is our administration not? I, I think someone's lying to us. Confidence grew. Economists linked those positive changes to the to the decline in gas prices. The change reported in October comes after the government reported inflation accelerated last month with the cost of housing and so many other things intensifying. It is a struggle that's pushed many families to rely heavily on credit cards right now. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, chicken wings for dinner. And the question is, how do you fix it? You don't, you don't. What, what's gonna happen? Like we're at the peak, we're rolling over. It, Fed go burr, give people stimmies. Uh, the system's broke, do a reset. Just do me a favor, the next time, this is what I was screaming up and down when you were getting the stimmies. I'm like, create plastic things, sell scratch and sniff, something, trade it, grow it, and you're like, no, I think buying a new car is a great asset. Credit card balances jumped 13%. And this was in August, the highest in two decades. And guess what? It's higher. It's higher in August, September, October, November, December. Oh wait, people probably won't put anything on their credit card during this holiday season. I know when the max pain is, ooh, come January, not good. But we can play this not good all together, right? Whether you own a bank, you are a bank, you borrow from a bank, they actually now have a survival plan. When banks have survival plans, you know we're gonna run into some problems here. How much in losses? Four billion, there you go. Devastating, this is third quarter, four billion. Wait, wait till fifth quarter and sixth quarter, right? A lot of quarters. And I say, let the banks fall because I'm gonna trade them and make sure that you're out of the certain ones because they're gonna take your money with them, or if they don't like what you're saying, uh, they're gonna take your money from you. And also my apology, if you happen to work for a bank, now your job's gone, uh, they're gonna slash headcount, look at this, 9,000 people. Bye bye go home, sorry, it was, it was fun. Next time, tell Jerome to keep uh, rates at zero. Uh, hold on, maybe Janet will do it for him. Credit Suisse sinks on plan to raise four. Oh, you're, you're gonna raise four billion and slash headcount? Great. Shares drop as much as 16%. I wonder if we could have seen that in the charts. So let's head over. Oh, Apple down 3%. Can I, can I close my fracking position? Let's take a look at the chart and see here. When do I close? Oh, never mind. I already closed it. Sorry, I closed it. My bad. But how's that TLT position you guys all jumped in on? That one, good. Aha, uh -huh, right? Sold off right there. You buy. Oh, count nine. Kept selling off. Oh, pull that rubber. Now just get over this little trend line. Maybe we could make some money here. And how about that meta losing 22% just today and down 75% since the top also. You see the E, e I could have saved you a few bucks on auto insurance. If you would have exited, you wouldn't, your account wouldn't be down. Oh, it's 29. I'm looking up above my head. See up there, almost 30%. That is, I feel I'm going to send Mark some flowers. Would have been a fun one to swing trade on the way down. Look at this. 
The last, well, maybe not the last one. Love those pumps in a bear market. What was this from here to, uh, where would you close? Definitely close your position at 13%. Also, I have a course, 200 bucks. It's called bear market. It's bad. How to trade in a bear market. You, you make money going down. And I teach you how to swing trade it, how to pattern trade it. Here's Google. That was, it's a, uh, that's a, it's called a flag. See that blue thing right here? I don't know if you can see it. I probably need to draw it more bigger. See that other flag that was uh, over here? Yeah, played out. Oh, here's another one and broke again. It's just now when it comes down into this area, you guys, take profit. Although that flagpole on this one, I don't even know. Nah, probably won't. Still, you haven't hit price target on Google. You still have more money to be made on the downside. That is the quandary, and I use that word right, about making money uh, is you have to do it. Like you actually have to put in like a little bit of work every week. Okay, wake up in the morning, look at your positions, open positions, close positions. Just don't do it on YouTube because then you forget Make sure you have a watch list, which you do if you want to know what I'm trading. You, you open and you close, and you open and you close. When we're in a bull market, you trade it up. Bear market, trade it down. Also, you do kind of have to be aware of the macro, like uh, announced buybacks coming up, head for record high this year in departure from last year to bear markets 10 months into 2022. American companies have announced one trip sorry i don't know where we w I, I went somewhere else but one trillion dollars in buybacks so next time don't click on the story bravo or otherwise it will send you so at the current pace the plan shares repurchase would reach 1.25 trillion breaking the annual record for the second year in a row so what that tells me is we are going to have horrific swings to the upside we're also gonna have horrific swings to the downside. If you subscribe to this channel, do I have, do I have, if you, yay, look at that. Buttons go wild. I'll tell you when the computers are getting ready to uh, push the button, but this doesn't mean, okay, you said 1.25 trillion going long. No, it doesn't work that way. Each stock's different, each indice's different, each crypto is different. Everything needs to be traded differently. You've heard that saying, if it was so easy, everyone would be doing it, which actually, I feel it's extremely easy to swing trade. I feel it's very, probably because I've been doing it. That's, I've been doing it so long, I'm just like, put in a sell order, put in a buy. Even that confuses people. Like, Wait, you're backwards. Yeah, I'm, I'm making money on the way down. Or your other option, pop the confetti, is just let your uh, account, you know, your bank account, just sit there or put it under the mattress and, and be eaten away by inflation, right? When they print these things, they just, they're, they're worthless. They're just sheets of paper and they become worth less and less and less. I mean, you could even swing trade the dollar. I should probably have looked at that, which I real, real, real quick. And I said, I'm like, dang it, come on, just get to that line. That's a, that, a bear market. See, 200 day moving average, we're above it white trend line, it's gonna it's gonna come down. I've said this, it's gonna come down, it's gonna bounce off, and it's gonna head higher. I, I just need it to go down and retest that trend line, please. And I take my savings account and I'm like, okay, it's UUP by the way, but just paper trade. You move it one side and then you move it back and you move it back and you just keep growing. I mean, compound interest, let's say 10%, 15, 20% a year. Albert Einstein said that the greatest invention known to mankind is compound interest. So why are you not using it to your advantage? I'll see you tomorrow.